Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today we're looking at the EchoFlow Delta Pro. Let's get into it. I've done previous videos uh, on the EchoFlow Smart Home Panel, but today I want to focus primarily on the actual Delta Pro unit itself. I will go over this in high level detail, and then I'm going to talk about some of the things that are uh, really important to me as a as an owner and then some of the things that you might want to consider if you're looking to add to your collection we're gonna start with the front here uh, there's a few things that I want to point out specifically uh, you've got most of your output is going to all be here on the front so starting across the front you got uh, one two three four USB ports these two as you can see are fast charging as well as a USB-C, which is uh, limited to, to 100 watts, and another one over here, also at 100 watts. Um, you can choose whether they're on or off. The DC is always on. <coughs> Down here on the front, you have four 110, 20 amp max uh, outlets, and that 20 amp max is across all four, so it's not individual. Like, you can't have 20 amps flowing out here, 20 amps flowing, right? Like, that would obviously be, like, 80 amps. That's clearly not what a single unit's capable of outputting. But across all four of these, you can have a, a 20 amps at, at 110 coming out um, <clears throat> for a peak uh, blast of, of um, I think, 1,800 watts. And um, which I, I think is, is pretty significant. You know, it's pretty impressive. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to say about that? Oh, yeah, right next to you have a, a 30 amp max. This is 110. It is not 240. It's 110, uh, so that would be, you know, a 30 amp max. You're looking at that, again, that peak of 3,600 uh, watts, 3,200, sorry, 3,200 watts um, as a peak. And then, of course, you want, as a regular load, it'd be, you want running below that. <clears throat> On the side, you've got uh, a couple more outputs as well. You've got an Anderson out. Here, let's see if I can get in there. Unfortunately, it's not very there. You've got your Anderson 30 amp 12 volt max. So you're looking at 360 watts out uh, here. And then you've got your um, cigarette adapter plug. You've also got a couple of barrel plugs here as well. 12 volts, 3 amp max. Um, I don't know if it's showing that very well. Yeah, I think it is. There it is. And then, of course, you've got a button here to turn that on and off. Got a communication cable, and then you've got your IoT reset and um, pairing button. And let's see what. And then you can have it put it on standby. All right, so pretty straightforward. And this just kind of closes. Uh, you can have like a little dust cover here as well. I, don't know, I should probably keep more close. And then down here, what you have is called the <clears throat> infinity cable. This is what is used to connect it to the Echo Flow smart home panel. Uh, if you don't have the smart home panel, then obviously this isn't necessary and you don't really use it for anything else. All right, let's get back here on the, the back side. You, here's where you got mostly your output, or uh, sorry, inputs. Uh, first is, of course, the 100 volt or 240 volt if you're in Europe uh, 15 amp max uh, AC cable so if you are wanting to fast recharge from the grid you would plug this in and then you can start recharging at a rate you can specify there is a slow fast switch here and if you uh, have it in fast it can recharge up to I believe 1800 watts so pretty quick recharging um, you can also recharge or charge via solar and the, this is a 150 volt direct current 15 amp max so that means uh approximately 1600 watts is the max that you could input through solar or dc and uh, i found that that 1600 is more theoretical it's i've gotten close to 1600 i've never gotten actually 1600 i think the best i've gotten is about 1570 uh for input down here you have your you have two extended battery ports um, and uh, those you would plug in on each side and that would extend the overall capacity of the Delta Pro with the two batteries together it would be 10 approximately 10 kilowatt hours 
just to point this out. They have two good sized wheels here on the back that makes it very easy for towing as well as a very nice carry handle that you can slide all the way out that makes it very fairly easy to, to move around. So I've talked a little bit about the inputs and outputs. Let's talk about what you get for real life uh, results. With the unit by itself, you're getting what is stated as a 3.6 uh, kilowatts of, of capacity, which means if you're drawing at a rate of 3.6 kilowatt hours, then you should get approximately one hour of, of output before it just drains down completely to zero. <clears throat> Obviously, that's theoretical. In real world, you're probably going to lose some capacity due to just uh, overhead of keeping the inverter on and uh, kind of a phantom drain over time. So if you, th if you think you, or if you buy this and you're like, I absolutely just want to have it for emergency situations, I don't want want it to you know to drain down and have to recharge then you're going to want to charge it and, and completely turn the whole thing off and disconnect it uh, and then you just literally have it for for those emergency uh, situations i don't recommend that that's not how i set mine up and I, i've talked about that at length <clears throat> but it's 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 very good uh array of of outputs here you know four plugs 20 out max you can power a lot of your 110 uh, appliances if you got a deep freezer or you got um, shoot if you with this you could probably power up a um, a skill saw something that has a real high uh, wind up when you're starting it. <clears throat> this is going to power that just fine, uh, and it's going to be great. Uh, if you're boondocking, this is going to be useful uh, for the RV life. Um, that's not not my life. <laughs> That's not what I'm in all about, but it's nice that it's there. And then of course you've got your DC, like clearly you're going to be powering this, something like this is going to power your cell phone, your laptop for, for days and days and days. Um, well, maybe not your laptop, but certainly your cell phones, you'll be fine on that, <clears throat> especially if you're getting solar input. So, uh, compared to the competition that's out there, this is, um, very, very good. It is a mature product. It's been out on the market for multiple years now. Um, there are some things that I want to point out. <clears throat> One is Eco app and the app updates, the firmware updates. EcoFlow does push a lot of updates to their app and to the units themselves um, quite frequently, which is both a good and bad thing. The good is that they're continually improving and trying to get the the performance and, and ease of use uh, better for all of us. The bad side is they don't really communicate very well what those firmware up, what it updates do. And a lot of times we're kind of on our own to figure it out or part of a user group uh, trying to figure group think what's going on. Um, so that's not ideal. Um, and, and the fact that you have something like this, a battery unit, uh, that you're using for your home backup, you don't. I, I don't really like the idea of firmware updates, and, and particularly firmware updates that might render it less than usable for a period of time. That's that's not. I'm not comfortable with that. I, I want a rock solid. I just don't even have to think about it, kind of thing. And that's not what you've got here. And to be fair, uh, you don't have that with hardly any of the units that are on the market. It, it's something that I would like to see more companies build towards. We're just not there yet. I chose to purchase these Delta Pros and, and I, I purchased them with my own money. These are not review units that were sent out to me. They're not, um, you know, anything like that. I, I chose to invest my money in these units. And the primary reason I did was because of the company that stands behind their product. So if you look out on the market, there's a lot of providers in the solar power station game right now, and there's more coming. And there's a lot of them. Um, a lot of them have, uh, you know, very appealing specs. Some of them are very competitive on price. Some of them have better solar input. Some have better capacity. Some have better output um, or a combination of those factors. Those are all good and enticing but 
these units are, are obviously a significant, <laughs> significant cost. And if you're going to spend the kind of money investing in a system like this, you need to know that you've got a, a partner that stands behind their product. And I have experienced that with EcoFlow. Um, I bought four Delta Pros and four extra batteries and two smart home panels. And I've had an issue with one of the uh, Delta Pros, the solar input jack basically detached or was detached when I got it. And I reached out to EcoFlow. Uh, they worked with me. They sh I shipped out uh, the unit to them. They sent me a replacement. No problems. Uh, that's very, very important when you talk, talk about units again, when you're talking significant, uh, significant costs, you need to know that you've got some of that all that'll be there for you if you're having problems. And so if you look at a, another unit, yeah, it might be better and it certainly might be cheaper, but if something goes wrong, are you hosed? Uh, are you out of, out of luck? That's the real question, right? Like, so that's foremost in my mind and what I would recommend to anyone who's considering purchasing in, understand you're getting a really good warranty with your product as well. Conclusion, I wholeheartedly recommend the Delta Pro. Here I've got two units with the two extra batteries connected for a total of 20 kilowatt, uh, kilowatts of capacity. And um, it's almost enough to power my whole house, the 110 outlets, uh, for, uh, you know, uh, without needing to tap off of the grid. However, on days where I'm not getting full solar input, it's not quite enough. So I still use some of the grid uh, for, for tap, topping off on those days and things like that. But I, I recommend the system. I recommend the units. They are.